Hey, I'm Alan. Welcome to Bros Fitness. Welcome to today's workout. My goal is not just to create videos, but to inform and to motivate you. So comment, subscribe, or follow along at bros.fitness. Let's get started. Today we're going to be doing some yoga for, for weightlifters. We'll begin on the ground in a comfortable seated position. Go ahead and bring our... Uh, I like to lead with my right leg. You can bring whatever leg you want. In fact, I'm going to lead with my left leg. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, come down into a prayer pose. Inhale, send your arms again to the sky. And exhale, prayer pose. Press forward with your hands, feeling an extension through the hands all the way to the shoulders. Inhale, send your arms up, and exhale. We'll do the same thing on the sides. Press both palms into the walls on the opposite side. Bring your shoulders down away from your ears. Lengthen through your chest and, the crown, and your crown. Inhale, bring your arms up, and exhale, prayer pose. Inhale one more time. Exhale, bring your right hand behind your body, your left hand to your right knee, and we'll find a small twist to the right. Inhale, send your arms up, and exhale, left arm behind you, right hand to your left knee, and look behind your left side. Inhale, sweep your arms up, and exhale. Interlace your fingers and press up through your hands. Come down very slowly in front of you. Keep breathing. Keep taking notice of your breath. Inhale, send your arms up. And exhale, interlace the other way. We'll stay here for a round of breath. Bring your shoulders down your back, away from your ears. And we'll slowly work our way down. Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, we'll interlace, tucking our left elbow over the top of our right hand, right, right arm. Come into eagle eye pose. Bring your elbows up if it's accessible for you. Inhale, send your arms up and exhale. Right arm over your left. Send your elbows up. Feel stretch on the back side and the upper side of your neck. Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, up, exhale, down. We'll go ahead and switch our grip on our feet. I'm gonna, I had my left foot forward. I'm going to bring my right foot forward. Inhale, send my arms up, and exhale, prayer pose. Inhale, up, exhale, cactus. Bring your shoulders down your back. Notice any tension that you're holding on to that's not serving you right now. Try and inhale, release, sending energy to that tight spot. And as you exhale, can you release any tension you're holding there? Inhale, send your arms up, and exhale, we'll come down. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other side of my yoga mat so that I can effectively stay on it. We'll come into a thunderbolt pose. Try and bring your fingertips to the mat. When you're ready, go ahead and open your hips a little bit wider to accommodate your torso. And go ahead and extend your arms all the way as far as you can. If it's accessible for you, go ahead and bring your forehead down to the mat. And if it's not, go ahead and bring a pillow or a block, a book, whatever you have to bring some, uh, to lower the distance between the ground and your head. Okay. 
Inhale. Send energy to your to your backside, your hips. Exhale. Can you release anything more? Inhale. Feel the breath wash over your back. And exhale. Can you release anything? Press your hands and walk them back towards your body. And we'll go ahead and come back onto our heels. Pressing your fingertips forward. Send your fore, your underarms and your under forearms to the sky. Press your palms into the wall in front of you. Point your fingers down to the ground, wherever you're at. Keep breathing. When you're ready, bring your hands down to the ground in the same position. And go ahead and come a little bit forward on your hips. Start to touch the mat with the tips of your fingers. And if it's accessible for you, go ahead and try to keep moving down very slowly. Be very careful when we're doing this. This is a very tender position to be in. Ensure that you're in a stable position when you start. If it feels uncomfortable, try this in a, in a, a seated position. Um, or otherwise, try and just remain pressing your hands forward. Whatever you're, wherever you're at, keep taking notice of your breath. I'll go ahead and bring my hands back. And I'll go ahead and we'll do the counter uh, twist on this side. Go ahead and embrace the tops of your left hand, of your fingers on your left hand with your right hand and try and pull them back just to bring a little bit of stretch. We'll go ahead and uh, make our wrists, flip our wrists the other way down and feel the stretch on the top of your forearms. We'll go ahead and switch to the other side. Same stretch that we just did on the ground on the right side. And then we'll come and then we'll do, oops, we'll do it. We'll press our right hand down and inhale up. We'll come into a tabletop pose. When you're ready, we'll move through a couple of rounds of cat-cow sequence. Inhale, cow, arch your back. Feel extension through your tailbone to your crown. Exhale, down. Inhale, we'll come into cat, or to cow. Exhale, round your back into cat. We'll keep doing this for a few rounds of breath on your own. When you're ready, go ahead and press both hands into the ground, tuck your toes, and we'll come into downward facing dog very briefly. Pedal out your calves. Hopefully this is the only time that we spend in downward facing dog today, but we'll see. Go ahead and walk <coughs> your right foot up to your hands and drop your left knee down. We'll go ahead and stay here and feel the intensity of the runner's lunge. Keep your hips balanced. If it feels comfortable for you, go ahead and rise up. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. If it's comfortable for you, you can rest your hands here. So go ahead, you're up here, come all the way down to the ground. Tuck your back toes into the ground, and when you're ready, bring your left foot up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift your body, extend from your tailbone all the way to the top of your head. Right now, I'm grabbing the tops of my shins. You can grab the tops of your thighs. We'll come down to your, your ankles. We'll put your hands on a brick if you're there. Wherever you're at, just stay here for a couple of rounds of breath. As you exhale, can you extend more through the, as you inhale, can you extend more through the top of your, your crown? As you exhale, can you extend and find any other places. 
to release. Grab opposite elbows and we'll come down for a ragdoll pose. Exhale, extend all the way down. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, come down into a prayer pose. Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, drop your right hand behind your body. Press the wall with your hand. Keep your, extend your left arm out and press that wall with your left hand. If it's comfortable for you, go ahead and find a gaze in the center of the room or Go ahead and look back towards your fingers. Whatever you're doing, drop your shoulders and inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, we'll come onto the other side, left arm behind your back, right arm in front. Press into the walls with your palms. Inhale, extend your arms up and exhale, we'll come all the way down to the ground. Send your right leg to the back of the mat as you press your palms into the ground and drop your right knee to the ground. If it's comfortable for you, you can go ahead and come up. If it's easier for you, go ahead and pad your knee on the right. Wherever you're at, bring your shoulders down. Take, no take notice of your breath. Extend your palms down to the ground, send your right leg back. We'll come down into a tabletop pose. We're gonna do another round of cat and cow, another few rounds of cat and cow. And when you're ready, press your hands into the ground, tuck your toes, and we'll bring our right leg up to our hands. This time we'll do a crescent lunge. Don't drop your knee to the ground. Feel grounded in the front foot, all four corners touching the mat. When you're ready, come down into a prayer pose. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, down. Bring your left leg back to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, down. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, down. Inhale, halfway lift. <clears throat> and exhale, send your right leg back, crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, come down into a prayer pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up, oops. And exhale, come down. Send your left leg back, and we'll come down into a chaturanga. Inhale, press up into upward facing dog. Exhale, press down. Inhale, press into plank, tuck your toes. And exhale, drop your knees. Tricked you there, you thought we were going to downward facing dog. <laughs> Open your legs and make space for your torso, and we'll come down into a child pose. Inhale, bring your right hands to, uh, to the right side of your mat. When you're ready, inhale and come back to center. Exhale, come onto the left side. Press your hands up into the mat and bring them towards your body. We may attempt to not go into downward facing dog. We're going to return into tabletop pose. 
dropping. Maintaining the flexion in your toes in the back, keeping them tucked. Go ahead, bring your right leg up to your hands. Finding a stretch through the, the other side. Drop your toes if that's comfortable for you. Stay extended through the body or come down onto your forearms if you're there. Come onto a pillow if that's comfortable for you. And we'll go ahead and start to drop the right leg down just a little bit. We'll come back and send your right leg back into tabletop pose. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the left side. Bring your left leg, left foot up to your hands and find a spot that's comfortable for you on this side. Bring your right leg back just a little bit if you wanna increase the hip flexor stretch that you're experiencing. Extend through the crown. It's not erased. The Bring your forehead to the mat. <clears throat> Go ahead and start to drop your left heel, your left arm, left knee down just a little bit, bringing the inner part of your left foot, the medial part of your left foot, off the mat. When you're ready, come back to center, and we'll send our left leg back. When you're ready, go ahead. And if it's accessible for you, we'll come into pigeon on this side. Bring your right leg up. And drop your ankle, your right ankle, on the same plane as your left, left foot. And if it's comfortable for you, go ahead and come down onto your forearms. Sink your hips into the ground. Inhale, can you extend your body? Exhale, can you relax just a little bit more to bring your, your hips down? Press your hands into the mat and we'll come out of this pigeon pose. Tuck your left toes and bring your right leg back. We'll come back into tabletop pose. Bring your body out just a little bit and we'll go ahead and find the pigeon on the other side and bring your right leg up and drop your left ankle down. If this is not where you're at, it's totally okay. You can come into a modified version of this. Um, you can come into a crescent lunge and get a very similar stretch. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. Press your hands up towards your body. Send your left leg back. When you're ready, we'll meet back in the cat. And we'll meet in the cow. Into cow. Pressing your body back into child's pose. Ooh, I'm a little late on time. We'll come onto our backs and we'll sit into a constructive rest position. Bringing one hand to our belly and one hand to our chest, inhale. Exhale, can you release anything that you're holding on to that's not serving you now? Inhale, bring your knees to your chest. Exhale, grab the outside of your feet and we'll come into happy baby. Go ahead and rotate. Rock back and forth if that's comfortable for you, taking any subtle movements that you need to for your body. If 
your hips wide. Inhale. Can you exhale any tension that you're holding on to that's not serving you? When you're ready, start to bring your feet back together. And then your knees. And we'll drop our legs down. And when you're ready, extend your legs out. And we'll find ourselves in our final pose for the day. Shavasana, corpse pose. Drop your shoulders to the side, open up through the chest. Send your palm, bring your palms to the sky. Open up your legs if that's comfortable for you. And as you do so, start to feel relaxed through your shoulders, your hips, your arms, your thighs, your wrists, your calves, your fingers, ankles, and toes. Start to lose yourself in your breath. Start to quicken your breath. Bring movement to your thumbs, your hands, your toes, so you can bend and move them. Feel movement in your ankles and your wrists, your arms, your legs. When you're ready, inhale and send your arms above your body. And then your exhale, drop everything to the ground. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. And on this exhale, we'll exhale everything through our mouth. Inhale. And exhale. One last time. Arms up, inhale. And everything out. When you're ready, go ahead and meet on the right side in a fetal position as you press up into the mat. Go ahead and meet in a comfortable seated position. When you're ready, go ahead and send your arms to the sky. Exhale, come down in prayer pose in front of third eye center. The light in the teacher in me acknowledges and appreciates the light in the teacher in you. Namaste. A great body starts with a great plan. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Alan, and I will see you tomorrow.